Okay, this is a short video of my Pieta 1858 Remington conversion cylinder so that I can convert my black powder pistol to a cartridge single shot pistol. And instead of 44 caliber, it will be transformed into a 45 Colt. And this should be capable of firing cowboy action loads and some of the milder uh, smokeless powder loads and black powder loads and I purchased this from Taylor and, Co and Company um, they're from Winchester Virginia and let's open up the little box and see what's inside okay here is the conversion cylinder itself And here is some information regarding the R&D drop-in conversion cylinder. And you can switch from percussion to 45 long colt just by changing cylinders. And one thing that I looked for in this was this information here. This conversion cylinder is classified as a part by the ATF. No FFL is required to purchase this product. Okay, so one of the reasons why I purchased it is mainly to have full capability of this particular revolver and not just have to rely on firing it with black powder um, as a percussion, but also perhaps black powder as a cartridge pistol too. Uh, revolver as well. Okay, so these are basically just instructions, and these particular cylinders are not to be used in brass frame revolvers, only in steel frame revolvers, and you certainly don't want to use cartridges that have full capability of the 45 Colt because you may damage the cylinder, the gun, and injure yourself. So this is pretty much what it looks like. It's two pieces. You insert your cartridges into there. There is a small red tip here, um, right here. And that lines up with a hole here. And that assures that the orientation is correct. And it sits together like this. And you can then insert this once it's loaded with your cartridges onto your single shot Pieta 1858 Remington and fire cartridge ammunition. So this looks like it's a well-made piece. And I'm not sure if and or when I'll be able to actually give this thing a go. The main issue or the main reason of getting it was to get it. While I could get it, I saw that they had the stainless steel ones available. And the stainless steel is the particular type of revolver that I have. I've seen plenty of these in blue, but very few offered in stainless. So I saw it, it was available, so I gobbled it up. All right, let me know what you think about um, converting black powder pistols to cartridge pistols, or revolvers, I should say. And this is the R&D drop-in conversion cylinder. Taylor and Company, Winchester, Virginia. Oh, and one more thing. Also, the original cylinders uh, for the percussion has indentations or spaces where you can actually fully load the cylinder with your black powder, your propellant, your black powder, your wad and your bullet and actually 
load all six cylinders or all six chambers however um, this does not have that and you have to exercise caution regarding putting an actual cartridge in one of these chambers and then resting the hammer down onto that um, that's pretty much a no-no for uh, single action revolvers and I would definitely think twice or three times before I loaded all cylinders or all chambers with this thing if you're going to fire cartridge rounds alright thanks for watching and as I said let me know what you think about this uh, conversion converting um, black powder revolvers into cartridge revolvers. Alright, thanks for watching.